My child, I will send someone to help you, but listen closely to what I'm about to say because this message is meant for you. It's not by chance that you're here watching this. God is speaking directly to your heart today, so pay attention and stick with me until the very end. This could be the message that changes your life. My beloved child, I see you. I know what you're going through, the struggles, the doubts, the stress. It's all been weighing on you, hasn't it? You've been searching for answers, praying for a breakthrough, hoping for a sign. You've asked for help, and sometimes it feels like you're not being heard, but hear me now, I've heard every word. I've seen every tear. You've been waiting, but today I need you to understand something important. I will send someone to help you, but you need to open your eyes and recognize how that help might come. You see, my child, I work through people. Sometimes the help you need doesn't come in the way you expect. You might be looking for a miracle, something big and undeniable, but what if I've already sent help? What if it's been right in front of you, but you haven't recognized it? The help I send may come in the form of a friend, a family member, or even a stranger crossing your path. You might not think they're the answer to your prayers, but trust me, they are. I will send someone, but you need to be open to receiving them. Don't overlook the help I provide because it doesn't come wrapped in the package you were expecting. How many times have you felt that nudge in your heart, that feeling that maybe you should reach out to someone, or maybe someone reached out to you, but you hesitated, unsure if they could really help? Listen, child, that was me. That was me working through them, trying to connect you with the support you've been asking for, but here's the thing, you have to be willing to accept it. I know it's hard sometimes. I know there are moments when you feel like you need to handle things on your own, like you should be strong enough to carry it all, but that's not how I designed you. I didn't create you to bear these burdens alone. I created you for community, to lean on others and to let others lean on you. The help I send is part of the plan I have for your healing, for your restoration, but you have to let people in. So let me ask you this, how many times have you pushed people away? How many times have you thought, I don't need them, I can do this on my own? I know it's tempting to think that way, but my beloved, that's not what I want for you. I will send someone to help you, but you have to let them help. You see, I work through the hearts of others. There are people in your life right now who have the wisdom, the resources, and the love to give you exactly what you need, but if you shut them out, if you close yourself off to my help, how can you receive the blessings I've prepared for you? Don't let pride or fear stop you from accepting the help I'm sending. Now, I need you to understand something else. The person I send might not only be there to ease your burden. They might also challenge you. They may push you to grow, to step outside your comfort zone. They might not always tell you what you want to hear, but my child, even then, I'm still working through them. Sometimes the help I send comes in the form of tough love. It comes through those who care enough to tell you the truth, even when it's hard to hear. Don't reject them because they challenge you. Don't turn away because they ask you to grow. That's still me shaping you, refining you, making you into the person I've called you to be. Here's the part one need you to hold on to. I'm sending help, not just to lift you out of your current struggle, but to prepare you for the future. The help I provide won't only address today's problem, it's going to equip you for tomorrow. The person I send will not just comfort you, they will teach you, they will prepare you for the next chapter of your life, the one where you become stronger, wiser, and more resilient. And one day, my child, you will be the one I send to help someone else. Your struggles, your pain, your journey, they won't be for nothing. I'm using them to mold you into someone who will bless others. Just as I send someone to help you, I will send you to help someone else. This is how my love works, child. It flows from one heart to another, from one life to the next. I will send someone to help you, but I also need you to be ready to become that help for others. That's the full picture of my plan. Healing, restoration, and the blessing of being a blessing. So remember this. You are not alone, even when it feels like no one understands, even when you feel unseen. I see you. I know your heart, your struggles, your deepest fears, and I am sending help. It might not look the way you expect, but it will come. Keep your heart open. Keep your eyes open. The answer to your prayer might already be standing right beside you. When the time comes and someone offers you a hand, a word of encouragement, or even a challenge that makes you uncomfortable, recognize that it's me working through them. Don't turn away from the help I provide. And here's my word for you today. Help is on the way. 
I've heard your prayers and I am answering. Stay open, stay humble, and be ready to receive the help I'm sending. It may not always come in the way you expect, but trust me, it will be exactly what you need. I love you, my child. You are never forgotten, you are never alone, and you are deeply, deeply loved. If you're still here, if you've listened to the end of this message, know that this was meant for you. Don't just walk away and forget it. Hold on to this truth. God is working in your life right now, even in ways you can't see. So stay open to the help He's sending. Share this message with someone who might need it because just like you, they need to know that God is moving and help is on the way. Stay blessed, stay strong, and remember, you are never alone. There's so much more to understand about how God works through your life. And if you're still listening, it means there's something deep within you that needs to hear the rest of this message. So stay with me. This is far from over. My child, you might be asking yourself right now, but why does the help take so long? Why does it feel like I'm stuck waiting while my prayers seem unanswered? I know waiting can be hard. I know it feels like you're stuck in this season of uncertainty, wondering if anything will ever change, but I need you to know this. Even in the waiting, I'm working. Even when you don't see it, even when nothing seems to be happening on the surface, I'm moving behind the scenes, preparing everything for the right time. Timing matters to me. I know the exact moment when everything should unfold. Sometimes I delay the help you're seeking because you're not ready to receive it yet. Other times, it's because the person I'm sending to help you is being prepared. Trust me, beloved, I know what you need and I know when you need it. You are never forgotten. So in this waiting period, don't be discouraged. Instead, let it be a time of growth. Just because the help hasn't arrived yet doesn't mean you're abandoned. Use this time to strengthen your faith, to draw closer to me. The wait is part of the process. It's shaping you, molding you, preparing your heart so that when the help comes, you're ready for it, ready to receive it fully. And listen, while you wait, remember this. I am always with you. Even when help seems far away, I am right by your side, closer than you could ever imagine. I have never left you, and I never will. You are mine, and I hold you in the palm of my hand. You might be thinking, how can I endure this? How can I keep going when it feels like everything is falling apart around me? I get it. I felt that too. There were moments in my life when I was begging for things to change, pleading for some relief, and all I got was more silence. I questioned, I doubted, I wondered if God was even listening to me, but what I didn't see at the time was that God wasn't ignoring me, He was preparing something greater than I could have imagined. The waiting wasn't punishment, it was preparation. My child, the struggles you face today are not without purpose. The trials, the pain, the confusion, they are all part of something bigger than you can see right now. I'm using them to refine you. You're being shaped in the fire, but know this, you won't stay in the fire forever. I'm preparing you for something greater, something that will not only bring you relief but will elevate you to a place where you can bless others. You see, you won't just be rescued, you'll be transformed. When the help comes, it won't just solve your current problem, it will build you up. It will teach you things you never knew before. It will strengthen your character, deepen your faith, and open your eyes to the bigger plan I have for your life. And this is important. When that help comes, don't be surprised if the journey doesn't get easier right away. Sometimes the help I send doesn't immediately make everything comfortable. It might bring challenges that push you, that force you to grow in ways you didn't expect, but that's how I work, my child. In times of uncertainty and struggle, it's easy to feel lost, as if we're wandering through a dark valley with no light in sight. But let me remind you that you are never truly alone. I am always here a steadfast presence beside you, even when it feels like help is out of reach. You are cherished beyond measure, held firmly in the palm of my hand. You might find yourself asking, how can I keep going when everything around me feels like it's crumbling? 
Believe me, I understand. I've walked that path, too. Those moments of desperation, the heart-wrenching cries for change, the silent nights when the weight of the world felt unbearable. During those times, it's common to question whether God hears our pleas or if he's simply turned away. Yet, what we often fail to see is that this silence is not a sign of abandonment. It's a sacred preparation for something far greater than we can imagine. The waiting period in our lives is not punishment. It's divine preparation. The trials you face today are part of a greater tapestry that weaves your life into a beautiful story. Each struggle, each moment of pain, is meticulously designed to refine you, to mold your character in ways you cannot yet comprehend. Just as gold is tested in fire, so too are you being shaped and strengthened through your experiences. Remember, you won't remain in the fire forever. This process is about transformation. The help that is on its way is not merely a solution to your current problems. It is a catalyst for your growth. It will equip you with lessons you never knew you needed, fortify your faith, and expand your perspective on the grand plan I have for you. And here's something crucial to keep in mind. When that help finally arrives, don't be taken aback if the journey doesn't become easier right away. Sometimes, the assistance I send is accompanied by new challenges designed to propel you forward and foster growth in unexpected ways. These challenges might be uncomfortable, but they are integral to the journey I have laid out for you, my beloved child. So take heart. Every moment you spend waiting, every ounce of struggle you endure, is leading you toward a future filled with hope, purpose, and an opportunity to bless others with your journey. Embrace the season, knowing that your struggles have significance and that a brighter dawn is on the horizon. If you love Jesus, then like, share, and subscribe.